Hello there. What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be painting a Starhawk. I pulled out both Starhawks here because I've got two and I don't want them both looking exactly the same. So I think it's time to do a little paint job. And, you know, a little part of me was kind of unsure about exactly how I wanted to approach this. If I wanted to go straight blue like a lot of my other Rebel ships or if I wanted to keep it more of a cannon paint job, uh, I think we might do something kind of in between. So this will be a fun one. Also, I want to remind you guys, there is still time to enter to win the giveaway for a $25 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. And uh, yeah, all right, well, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first step, uh, I'm gonna take some gray sear and just reprime over this thing and uh, kind of see how it's gonna look there with a fresh coat of gray. All right, so gray primer applied, and you can already see uh, a pretty stark difference between the two, and uh, and, you know, and that could actually be a stopping point. Now, I want to point out, uh, I don't do a whole lot of repainting of already painted ships, but I do some. Uh, and, and these, you don't have to prime these, because the paint job that's already on there is very thin. You don't have to strip them. You don't really have to prime them again, but I like the idea of doing gray because I was going to put other colors building on that already. So, uh, yeah, now we got to figure out, I think what I want to do is a little bit more darker and then put some taping lines and then do certain areas with some blue. Uh, and then we'll do highlighting and, and, and a little wash in certain areas and a lot, of, a lot of detail after that. All right, so I don't actually have a good gray that I wanted to use, so I mixed a little bit of uh, Vallejo black and Vallejo white with some thinner. And, all right. That looks like that's coming out pretty good. So we're gonna try and get a lot of the model with this. kind of have a little bit of a gradient in there because it's just pretty smooth and we can go back over. And then try and, you know, we can compare that to the other side. And I'm just going to kind of go over the whole thing basically like that. All right, so we're done with the darker gray right now and I'm now going to add a little more white and try to lighten it up and see if I can get a little bit of a lighter gray and do kind of partial uh, partial gradient, kind of put some natural fades in there, see if I can do that. All right, so the next step is taping up uh, a lot of these sections and I kind of already started over here uh, and I'm going to be doing some of the blue and uh, and then I'll be pulling all of the tape off when I finish that. And I want certain parts to still be the gray and then certain parts to be the blue. Okay, so I've got most of that done. Uh, I'm now adding a little bit of uh, a different shade of blue with a little white mixed in. And uh, I'm gonna hit this just from like a front angle only. Just to kind of add some little, little touches. See it showing up right there, but it's gonna just a little bit of flare to it. Yeah, that's gonna look cool. All right, so here's what we've got so far. Um, we've got kind of our our black and blue. Uh, I've got a little bit of bleeding over where I didn't uh, tape it totally all the way down, but we're uh, now ready to uh, you know start cleaning up some of the bleed over and start adding some paneling and all of that stuff. So right now I'm just putting a black wash in uh, a lot of the parts and kind of uh, working on this aspect. So uh, we'll be moving on forward after we get this done for both sides. All right, so uh, right now um, I've kind of let everything dry. I'm going with a little bit of gray for some paneling touch-ups. I had some of the wash kind of bleed out over here, so I was trying to clean that up a little bit, but there's gonna be some imperfections there. Um, and uh, you know, I'm just gonna get just various little panels kind of all over the place and, um, and make those gray as well. And I think this kind of gray looks pretty good 
on, on the blue. Um, I did a, a few of them over here. Uh, I want to do more, but I'm not going to do all of them, obviously. You know, and uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Eventually, we'll go back and try to uh, do some more with the engines for the airbrush. Uh, do maybe a brighter blue on the engines. And, uh, and then maybe like a little bit of a white or a bluish in there for the, uh, for the Magnite. Okay, so I think I got most of the gray paneling done. And uh, yeah, I think it came out uh, pretty good. Um, two main things I'm going to do left is just do a little more engine glow. Uh, and for that, I'm using, uh, this is Emerald from Vallejo. And I'm going to mix some white in that and try to make that real bright. And then I'll take some pure white and just put some uh, lights on there. I think that's going to do it. So we'll do it for the most part. All right, so we are about finished up, and uh, this is the basically the final product. I may go back and add a few more little touch-ups, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. I kind of like the, uh, the way the engines came out for the most part, uh, and the way the lights kind of kind of make the whole thing kind of stand out. So I think that's a pretty cool looking Starhawk. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think in the description below. If you want to see some more pictures, I'll post more up on crabock.com. But that is the finished product, everybody. So uh, looks pretty cool. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me and uh, for watching. And make sure you enter that contest, uh, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I will talk to you guys later. I want to thank you so much. And as always... Have a great day.